Hey everyone, welcome back, welcome back to the channel. Make sure you subscribe and support your girl if you haven't already, okay? So listen, here we have Kelly Price who is trending because she told the crowd, for those of you who don't believe she was unalive during COVID, you can kiss her butt. Check this out. Stupid enough that they need to lie about almost dying from COVID. Kiss my entire ass. All right, it's a mess a mess honey but why is she bringing this up this is old news so old so long ago i'm not understanding okay but listen when i think of kelly price i think of her when she was on r&b divas the girl was a hot mess okay she displayed such horrible behavior she was mean she was very rough Okay, I just didn't think she was or has the character she has. Okay, I mean, I was like, wait a minute. This is who Kelly Price is? She was ready to fight. She was not understanding, okay, to the other girls. Her and Kiki Wyatt, okay, they... they change my view of how i see them all right but anyhow so funky dineva he had a lot to say about kelly price check it out kelly price people the first thing i need to say kelly is that you need to find a chair big enough wide enough and oddly shaped enough to sit your big ass in okay listen the dispute was never about whether you had COVID or had you almost died the dispute was where you had when at okay you had people all down to the CNN, baby. All down to the missing people registry. We was looking for you, Kelly. Okay? And wherever the hell you was, two things is for sure. It had internet and it had food. Because when you came back, you had lost no weight. Which means your ass was alive and able enough to see what all the hell was going on. We was looking for you. All right? Carly Russell. All right, so the comments are commenting, honey. It says, I don't think it's a problem with giving your opinion and commentary, but when it comes down to slandering black women on their physical appearance or beauty, it's where the discomfort and distasteful feeling comes in with a man knowing his place. Okay, that was well said. It says, I don't care how sassy you act as a man. Constantly coming for women is so weird. It says, why is he so hostile towards women, black women at that? Does he not own a mirror? I love to see what his mama look like. Cause, okay. Listen, when it comes to Funky Dineva, I think he was bullied and picked on when he was in school and as a kid. Because he is a mean-spirited person. And now he has his chance, y'all, to get back at those those feelings that he was receiving as a kid he is giving it back out okay he is projecting 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 and i really don't like funky dineva i don't he looks like a cancer patient i know i'm sorry but he just looks so ugly himself and for you to speak on other women's beauty or other women in general when you look like how you look I'm confused, dude. You are not cute nowhere. Nowhere. Okay. But anyhow, moving on. So Kelly Price also is trending because she had a lot to say about Tiana and Amaz's relationship. Check this out. She's not a side hoe. She's a wife. I went through it, but this is not about me. I listened to this blogger go off on Tiana. I'm sorry. I'm actually emotional. I literally just, I was venting to my husband because I was like, I get so angry when I see this kind of thing. We always talk about black needing to support black. Black need to do this. Black need to, don't worry about my smoke detector. This is an important message, but thank you. I appreciate it. I just listened to a female black woman who is a blogger go in on Tiana Taylor. Basically, calling her all kinds of things um, about, you know, the fact that she speaks up for her family and when there are allegations out there that she comes to the defense of her family and she comes to the defense of her husband. What else is she supposed to do? She's not a side piece. She's not a side hoe. She's a wife. They have a family. They have a home. They own businesses together. If anything is worth fighting for, it is your family, especially if it can be saved. I just don't understand why wives get attacked so bad and 
get praised. She's a beautiful woman. She's incredibly talented. You don't hear stuff about her. I'm really angry for her. I'm angry for her. Why black sister on your blog, your platform, whatever, why go after her? Why say she's dependent? Why say she's one of these dumb black women that's going to always fight for black men no matter what the hell they're doing? Isn't that what we're supposed to be doing? Yes, we're supposed to hold them accountable, but we are all supposed to fight for them. Because guess what? Every day that they leave the house, the whole world is against them. They should have peace when they come home. When they mess up, they should be held accountable. But that ain't our business. How about that? If they got some stuff going on in their marriage, that's between them. If a side piece put it out or whatever the case may be, it's still between them. Okay, that's true. It's still between them, you know, and Tiana is a queen. She is very talented and so forth and so on. But my thing is, Kelly, why you wasn't this vocal when people was looking for you during COVID? Okay, where were you, honey? Why you didn't come online and speak to the people? Hmm, but anyhow, this chick right here is being accused of being Ahmad's side chick. Yes, that's right. So she's playing this video right here and Ahmad is allegedly in the background speaking as well as you can see see them laying on each other okay so the internet has been going in on her honey calling her all kinds of names because she's exposing Ahmad who is a married man all right now she says the cap nothing and I mean nothing gives anything weird so she's basically saying you know there's nothing between her and Ahmad allegedly but then there are videos of her wearing his chain yes as y'all can see here she has on his chain and y'all know when a chick is wearing your chain that means it's something more right okay but according to her she says that's my chain I'm not wearing his chain we are just friends we always tag and post each other the blogs and others wanted to make it weird for their own benefits and then someone respond by saying so why you got a matching chain with a married man she says it's his label and yes Ahmad do have a record label okay and then it says so if you're his artist what was the point in your post you could have posted at the studio she says we were in the studio <laughs> okay so it's looking like it's this could be innocent all right it says you lay on your co-workers that's not normal someone better call hr she says i lay on all my friends females or males if i was creeping you would never know who the f i was sleeping with trust me i've been around all this for 13 years ain't never once posted about who i was dating my thing is if you've been around this for 13 years or whatnot or whoever why post something like this that's looking like it could be something more okay it looks weird it looks off all right Amon is a married man and it's like why is he hanging around and in the studio with you and y'all laying on each other to people in the outside world it looks crazy okay especially with my man you ain't gonna be laying on my man y'all gonna be doing work in the studio and that's about it but maybe Amon and Tiana have some kind of you know understanding between their relationship where they don't care about them laying on female or males you know i don't know i don't know but for this chick right here it looked at more than what she's trying to say it's not all right he also you guys was seen in the bathroom with half naked women why why is this married man here without his wife? Listen, I feel like we don't know what arrangement Tiana and Amon have, okay? They may have broken up on the low and we don't know. Or maybe they have an open relationship still. Hell, there was a time when they were seen partying a lot together and allegedly had an open relationship. So maybe they have an understanding, like I said several times, between each other, okay? And I'm sure women throw themselves at Amon all the time. Ain't no telling what Tiana have to do to keep her man from straying i'm just saying okay but at the end of the day aman should be careful how he carry himself in these streets and how you know he is around some of these hoes he need to show his wife some respect period because he's moving loud and embarrassing tiana at the same time now tiana have not said a word about this that's why i was so confused when kelly price who is celebrity is saying something about it when tiana has not said a word about you know the cheating allegations 
when she's usually very vocal about setting the record straight okay but i'm just here to give y'all my thoughts y'all make sure y'all subscribe to the channel comment down below and let me know what y'all think about kelly price coming for the people who believe she was lying about covid and armand cheating on tiana do y'all believe he's cheating hmm y'all leave y'all comments below make sure y'all subscribe to my channel and support okay support your girl and come on back for more and i'm out y'all bye